So welcome guys back to another Zabbix Spotlight video and today our guest is Marco. Hello, nice to see you and uh, the thing about Marco is that he works at a MSP company and uh, the main topic is MSP which is I think it is a little bit comp more complicated than just managing your local Zabbix instance running at your company monitoring only your company. So. Marco, give us a little bit of your experience, what it is and what it actually takes to provide MSP services with the Zabbix to your customers. So, hello. Hi, Dimitri. It's <laughs> nice to be here. So, I'm Marco from Germany. I work as an uh, IT system engineer from Germany. Um, we work with Zabbix for over 10 years, I think, maybe 15, 14 years. And uh, we have to um, supply our contracts with our customers, our maintenance contracts for a lot of customers. Now it's over 40 customers. Many of them are small, very small. Many of them are large. So we have to provide a large fleet of Zabbix proxies. Now it's over 40 Zabbix proxies. We have to uh, keep up to date, keep safe, keep all the configurations in sync and keep them up to date. And um, most important, many, many Zabbix agents, many different VMware environments and we have to make sure everything is maintained, everything stays in sync. So um, we have developed um, methods to keep the Zabbix proxies up to date and to keep the Zabbix proxies in sync because it's very important. For example, if you make a major Zabbix version update to keep everything in sync, unless the monitors monitoring will stop working. And yeah, there's, there are some challenges we had to solve in the past, which we did manually in the beginning and now we have developed tools and made use of tools to solve those problems. Are there also some things like that in the past you had to use some customized solutions, your self-written scripts or whatever, which right now are already available inside as Abix as a native tool that you can use? Yes, most definitely. So in the past, we made sure all proxies were connected safely through a VPN connection before Zabbix introduced native TLX, TLS connections. So every proxy had its own IPsec VPN, which was, well, extra time we had to do to onboard new customers. And since Zabbix introduced native TLS encryption for Zabbix proxies, we all dropped every VPN and switched to native connection, which made onboarding new customers much faster. And uh, with new Zabbix versions, we also had to keep all Zabbix proxy versions in sync. So we had custom deployment scripts to update each Zabbix proxy as fast as possible. Today, we completely switched to management uh, with SaltStack. There's an official formula, an unofficial formula from SaltStack for Zabbix, which we adopted. And we can now update all Zabbix proxies at the same time during a major upgrade. Um, which will be easy, even easier with the upcoming release of Zabbix 6.4 with the native support for Zabbix upgrades. So we don't have to be as fast as in the past. And yeah, there was also always the problem with the Zabbix agent updates where we also developed a tool which we will be talking about at Zabbix Summit. Yeah, so things work quite complicated and they becoming even easier, easier with uh, each new release. Okay, and basically as far as I understood, like being an MSP and having different customers outside of your, let's say, network or your company environment um, basically means that you have to install the Zabbix proxy for each client that you have, that you're yeah. managing, maybe sometimes even multiple proxies depending on their environment, right? Yeah, ex exactly. And how easy it is to onboard new customers. So someone comes to you and says, hey, we want to use your services. We want to be monitored uh, with a Zabbix software. How much time it takes effort to actually onboard them and start collecting the data? Yeah. So in the past, it was like half a day. So we prepared a ready to use VM template, which we sent to the customer, which he then had to import and adjust the network settings to his environment. And most of the time, this template was old and has to, had to be patched after the import. Uh, we don't do that anymore. Today, we just say to the customer, we need a fresh Linux instance, just an empty Linux, where we then install um, the configuration management agent from SaltStack. Then we onboard this to our SaltStack master. Then we deploy our template. And a few seconds later, the Zabbix proxy is already sending its first data. So it went down from like four hours to maybe half an hour, 
takes some time how, how fast the customer is with deploying the Zabbix, uh, the Linux instance. And from there on, we have a working Zabbix proxy. And if the customer has a software distribution, distribution system, we have to use that. But most of the time, we just relay on the, um, the methods Active Directory provides for us. So we implement Zabbix agent into the Active Directory. So each and every server will be targeted immediately. We then provide them with uh, standard templates for CPU, HDD and services. And if the customer has specific demands, maybe we already have a template, maybe Zabbix already has a template, or if he wants something special, we provide it for him. So the onboarding went a lot faster uh, by making use of a configuration management. Okay, and uh, I believe one of the challenges could be like that every customer could have like their own demands and, and wishes from you. Um, as example, like visualization or receiving some information about their environment, which is being monitored. How do you actually handle that? Uh, that's a difficult question um, because most of the time we dictate what we want to do. So um, we, we turn this around. So the customer has a maintenance contract with us and the contract is not to provide Zabbix. The contract is to provide um, an SLL for SLA for the environment. So we say, if we want to do that for you, you need Zabbix from us. So it's not the customer demands visualization from us, but we demand the customer to use Zabbix so we can be his MSP. So okay. we turned it around a little bit. So Zabbix is more for us to fulfill our contracts, but not we fulfill the contract by, um, because it's, the customer wants Zabbix. It makes sense. Yeah. And uh, if, if I can ask, if that's a public uh, information, how many customers are you managing right now? So right now we are managing over 40 customers with Zabbix. Um, main challenge is the number of customers, not the size of the customers. So um, I was getting quite some trouble as soon as we were over 20 customers. Until then, we managed everything manually. And as we hit the 20 proxies, it became quite complicated. So what, right now we are over 40 customers with, I don't know, we have 3000 new values per second, if that's the metric the customers want to know, which works still very well on one big Subix server instance. We haven't split it up with a, a separate database. It works very well and each version it becomes better. So we just have it on some big hardware that works very well. And I think we have allowed around 1000, 1000 Windows servers and two or 300 Linux servers. And of course, several databases, access points, network switches, several VMware environments. And that all works very well since we've maintained all those Subix proxy configurations. Okay, so basically like in terms of scale and, and growing your customer base is mostly about like how to manage them. Uh, but not about like the Zabbix sizing, right? You are like free to add more customers, monitor more servers, um, have more items and more new values per second. So there's no problem with that. No, no. So far we didn't hit any limits um, and it's working very smooth. Um, of course, sometimes in the past we replaced the hardware when it was old and replaced it with newer hardware, but not so much because we had any performance issues. And with the improvements between each version and also keeping the database up to date, we had no performance uh, problems in any way. Okay, uh, sounds very good. So thank you, Marco, for your experience uh, being MSP provider to your customers. And I hope you guys like this. So thank you for watching. We'll see all of you somewhere around. Thanks, thank you. For, thanks for having me here. Have a great day. Thanks. Thank you. Goodbye.